everybody, Feverdine here, and welcome to my neighbor Enid. I hope I'm saying that right. This is from the same creator that made Sweet No Death, It's Not Me, It's My Basement, and Via's Night Out. And honestly, I've been really enjoying their work, Arcade Kitten, so let's just go ahead, get into this new game, and see what this is all about. Do you want to see content warnings for this game? No, guys, this game is incredibly innocent. You know, it's, it's just got some light blood scariness. Anyways, the only memories I have of my mother are from pictures on the wall. As I understand it, my mother left my father sometime after I was born. I don't know why, and no one ever told me, but it did create some tension in my household. Okay, my mother is half cat. Nice. I'm half cat as well. Dad and my big sister, Tabby, used to fight a lot. I don't even know what most of their fights were about because at a certain point, I'll just turn off my hearing aids as soon as I heard the yelling start. Aww, so sad already. I think it has something to do with Dad being too strict from the way Tabby would rant about it after. But I didn't want to get involved and I didn't want to pick sides. I loved both of them and didn't understand why they couldn't get along. I was there and I knew the three of us were all capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why it couldn't always be like that. Dot dot dot. At one point, the fighting got so bad. Dot dot dot. I remember hearing, right before I turned off my hearing aids, Tabby saying something like, Now I get why mom left! Dang. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Then I heard a crash and a scream. Just kidding. It's not It's not like that, guys. I didn't turn my hearing aids on for the rest of the night and naturally took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up being jostled awake in the middle of the night by Tabby. Oh my gosh, she about to say I'm leaving. She had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulder. She was pushing her childhood stuffed toy into my hands and speaking to me. But of course, I couldn't hear her. She must have realized that though, because she looked like she laughed a little to herself and then signed to me, I promised to write. Aww. Then she got up, walked out, closed the door to my room, and I never saw her again. Like guys, I was not expecting it to be this sad. Tabby ran away that night. I'm not sure where to. She did write, as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there, meeting new people, doing new things. But there was never a return address. I don't know how she ever got the letters to us. I was sad I couldn't write her back, especially because dad and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved more than once for work stuff, for money stuff. You know how it goes. So we haven't gotten any letters since. It's been years. I hope Tabby's still doing okay. I carry around the toys she gave me everywhere. So at least she feels close, dot, dot, dot. Despite everything that happened, I still like my dad. We get along really well, and I can tell he loves me. We're always doing things like playing baseball together and going to the movies. He even plays video games with me sometimes. He's actually pretty good. So I wonder what was the disagreement between her older sister Tabby and their dad? Like why? Like what, what, what made the disagreement happen to be like that bad, you know? Tabby always used to talk about him being strict, and I wonder if part of that stuck with him. Because ever since she left, I feel like he's been pretty loose on the reins. Ah, oh, okay, so maybe that's what it is. He's not strict anymore because he doesn't want his other daughter to like run away like her. He then pushes me to go outside and get out of the house. Even when I don't want to. That's me. All the time. Just kidding. Ellie? Yeah? What are you doing? Watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning. Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlight left. Go play outside for a bit. Get some fresh air. Daddy, are you doing some strange stuff over there? Should I be worried? Is this the red flags coming in? Father? Should I be concerned? Ugh, come on. I don't want to go outside. What if Pincer's out there? I thought you and Pincer were friends. We used to be, but he sucks now. Did he get a crush on you? Maybe you got a crush. You shouldn't be a jerk if you have a crush on people, guys. Hey, language. What did I say? Well, he does. I'm just finishing up some paperwork. When I'm done, I don't want to see you still on the couch. You can watch more TV later. It's not like you're playing anything new at this hour anyways. Ugh, fine. 
Okay, cool. Awesome! Okay, I think our name is Ali. Nice. All that's on our reruns of things we've already seen before, so at least you're not missing anything. <laughs> you wish you could stay on this couch a little longer, but you know you sit down, you don't want to get up again. Honestly, I get going outside and not staying inside all day. Like, go, being on, like, seeing screens all the time is not good for your eyes, guys. So I kind of get why you would want her to go outside. Some drawers holding a lamp on top. The drawers are so empty. What a waste of space. Sounds like my drawer is just there for decoration. Books. Books are fine. And also, not your favorite way to spend your free time. I actually love reading books. Actually, no. I, I loved reading manga when I, was ch when I was younger, you know? Your bed. It's cozy enough and offers you a nice view into the street. And your neighbor's house. <laughs> Why does it so creepy? Am I the creep? Is that the plot twist, guys? I'm the creep. Dressers. Drawers filled with some clothes and some junk. Your handheld console's in there, but you don't want to take it outside. Sounds good so far. Some drawers holding a lamp on top. The drawers are so empty, what is a waste of space? I'm surprised actually that we don't just take it outside with us. A baseball themed little buddy sitting with his friend. That's cute. A baseball theme friend sitting with his little buddy. That is adorable. Your baseball stuff. You'll bring it outside, but there's no one to play baseball with. It's okay. Dad said he'll take you to the local softball team tryout next week. Awesome! So I'm into softball. Or, you know, baseball in general. A comfy chair to sit in. You often play video games in this spot. Too bad you lent out your favorite one. To who? Pincer? Who is Pincer to me? <laughs> some posters you ripped out of some magazines and were able to start decorating your room with. They represent your favorite things, baseball and video games. What else could a girl need, honestly? Except replace baseball for me with like food. Food and video games, oh no, no, anime. Forget food. Anime and video games, what else could I need? Oh, there's my father. Hey, Vachar. Hey, Alley Cat. Didn't I just tell you to go outside? Oh my gosh, I see where the Shrick face comes in. He looks very strict. Hopefully you're not evil too, because you do have that evil face. What are you doing? <laughs> Paying bills. Looks boring. It is boring, but somebody's gotta do it. True. Let me talk some more. <laughs> What's for dinner? Not sure yet. I was gonna go grocery shopping after this. See what I could make from there. Aw, nice. The father that cooks, we love it. Could we get a, uh, what's it, takeout? Why? Don't like my cooking anymore? <laughs> no, I'm just like really in the mood for hot dogs. True, except for me, it's like really in the mood for like sushi. Yeah. I don't think there's a takeout place for hot dogs, Alley Cat. Well, it should be. Maybe I'll make one one day. I thought you were going to be a baseball star. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Baseball stadiums are always handing out hot dogs. Win-win! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll be a baseball player that hands out hot dogs when I'm not pitching. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Uh, can you help me practice baseball? Not today, but I'll plan some more time soon. Getting excited about tryouts, huh? Oh, yeah. That's why I want to practice a lot. I gotta get it in. Hey, I have no doubts you're gonna school all the other kids there. I hope so. Uh... Thanks. <laughs> See, he seems awesome. I really hope there's no plot twist with him. Can we play video games instead? You don't want me to play video games with you. Why wouldn't I? Hmm, because I'll kick your butt. <gasps> language, father. Whoa, <laughs> language. I'm an adult. I can say it. When can I say it? When you're taller than me. What? How, how tall are you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dad. Oh my gosh, I miss Tabby. What would he say? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Aww. I hope there's no plot twist that she actually is dead or something. No, I really want to believe that this is a good Foucher, guys. I really want to believe that he's one of the good ones. Usually, the straight Foucher can't be trusted, but I really hope that he's not bad. Like, he seems really cool right now. You look inside the refrigerator. Dot, 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 dot. Nah, there's nothing you really want right now. The oven. You're allowed to use this as long as dad's in the room. Seems fair. Kitchen cabinets filled with all their usual kitchen cabinet things. Incredibly uninteresting. <laughs> we don't care about dish stuff. The sink. You already put away the dishes this morning. Awesome. I'm a good daughter. 
Okay, Foucher, I'll see you later. I'm going outside and going to breathe in the fresh air. All right. It is pretty nice out here. It's been almost a year since we moved into this house. Unlike the others, this one is one it looks like you'll be staying in for the foreseeable future. We're down by the seashore, or shoreline, which means we get sand lining the streets and palm trees in our front yard. That actually sounds really cool and like nice and tropical. Vacation vibes, you know? It's pretty hard to complain about being made to go outside with weather like this all the time. The sun's always bright and shining, but the breeze that wafts in from the sea keeps things nice and cool. I'll always complain about getting sand in my sneakers though. Oh my gosh, yes. That's the one thing I don't like about sand. Just how much like the, like the sand is getting everywhere. That's like the only thing I don't like about the beach, honestly. Oh, uh, can I knock on my neighbor's door? The door of your neighbor, Enide. You don't want to bother her just yet. <laughs> what is this paper? A missing poster has been attached to the trunk of the tree. It shows the picture of a young adult man. The poster states that he was last seen leaving work early for a date he had. There's a number to call if he should be found. Dot, dot, dot. This poster has been hanging for weeks. You know, I'm feeling sus about either Enide or my father. So let's see who it is. Or maybe it's me. It'll be cool if it was me. Oh, nice. Jack, cap, jack, jack, jack. Jack? Jax! I thought it was Jax and X or something cra or something like that. No, it's Jax. It's time to play Jax. Press the correct- Oh, correct arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Oh, 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 ring. Oh, did I make it? Nice, I thought I wasn't good at Jax. Hey, I still got the FNF skills. Let's go, or the, or the arrow skills, if you will. Let's go. Okay, what about this? What's over here? There's some sidewalk chalk you left here. Sure, why not? What would you like to draw? A cat, of course. We are the cats. How do I draw cats if I'm a cat? Oh my gosh. There you go. It reminds you of Tabby. I love that. Like, I'm like cat humanoid. And I just drew a regular cat. And I literally said that looks like my sister. I love it. Okay, let's see. Is there going to be another mini game? I wonder. I just... Oh, nice. There is. Oh, that is so cute. It's time to jump rope. Press the correct arrow keys from left to right. Okay, let's go. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> Dang, I didn't realize I was so good at this. I'm awesome. Hmm. It's kind of boring outside with no one to play with. Maybe Enide will let me camp out at her house till sunset. Oh, nice. Enide! Hey, I was calling to you. Caught it. Oh. Oh, are you the jerk, the butt nugget, the one and only? We to get him an annoying voice too. Dang! Thought that aid was supposed to help you. <laughs> For a cat with such big ears, you really can't hear poop, huh? <laughs> well, for a crab, you sure live up to the name. Oh, you're a crab? Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pincer Chase. He's a red crab that lives a little further down the block. When I first moved in, he got, we got along pretty all right. He'll play with me a lot, and we even used to lend each other stuff. But these past few months, I don't know what happened, but he changed. For the worst! <laughs> He's always got such an attitude, and now he hates me for no reason. He's going through puberty or something. <laughs> what are you doing out here playing with Chalk and Jax? I gotta stop giving him that voice. That's gonna mess me up. What are you doing out here playing with Chalk and Jax? Ha! Thought you would have grown out of that by now. Though, I guess I can't say much when the baby still carries around her dolly. I, I don't have a good voice for him. Baby? What are you talking about? You're only two years older than me, barely. And yet you act like you're ten years younger than me. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be playing with such baby stuff if somebody returned my copy of Calamity Heroes. Ugh, well... Well, where is it, huh? It's my video game. If you don't give it back, you're stealing from me. And I'm gonna tell my dad on you and he'll make you give it back. Huh, getting your dad on me? See, you are a baby. You can't even fight your own battles without calling daddy for help. I'm not a baby. You think you're so much more grown up than me just because you grew that gross caliper on your face? Hey. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I didn't click continue. I just, I got caught off a of guard with his actual claws. Just what is happening out there? Enide! 
That's my neighbor, Enid. Oh, Enid is awesome. What is she, a human? No, she's a vampire? What is she? A bird? We're like best friends. We talk like all the time. She lets me help her with her garden in her backyard and she brings over dessert on the holidays. And she smells really pretty all the time. She even babysits me sometimes if dad's gonna be gone all night. So how much older is she? One time I heard dad tell her that he appreciates her spending time with me. I think it's because all the other girls in my life left. <laughs> that's, that's so sad. Like this game really reminds you of how sad it is. But there's only one girl in my life. I won't complain about it being Enide because Enide rules. Are we fighting out here? Maybe she's like more, yeah, that's my voice. She started it. Nuh uh. Yeah, huh. All right, calm down. What's happening, Allie? Pinsir took my game forever ago and won't give it back. Pinsir, is that true? I was gonna. Hey, don't take that tone with me. I'll take whatever freaking tone I want. Dang, Pinsir, get out of here. And I swear, should I tell your father about this? Our date's tomorrow night, and I am not afraid to bring it up to him during it. Dang, she really said I am dating your father. You might as well call me your mother. Tell him, I don't care. And pulling your claws out on me? Oh, I'm sure he'll love to hear this. The disrespect. Ugh, whatever. Who gives a poop? You suck, and he sucks too. I'm going through stuff, guys. <laughs> Bye, Pinsir. I feel like Pinsir's gonna come back and be nice and help us out at the end. I really feel like that's gonna happen. Sorry for yelling out here, Enide. It's all right. Are you okay? Better now that you're here. Dad forced me to come outside and play while the sun's still out. But I knew I'll run into stupid old Pinsir if I did. Wish I could just go home now. Other than that annoying thing, it's just boring out here. I see. Lucky for you then. I'm also bored and I got a matcha, matcha, matcha cake. Interesting. I actually never tasted matcha before. Inside, I can't possibly eat all by myself. Oh, heck yeah. This is why you're the best. <laughs> I try. Okay, so is she giving evil vibes? Like, is she the evil one? Probably. Like, she got that, like, devilishly good looks, but evil feel to her. So, how is it? Everything I built it up to be, huh? Oh, this is so good! You, like, get flavors I never even heard of before. I don't know where you find these. <laughs> Happy to expand your horizons. Thanks for helping me out back there, too. Pinsir's been so annoying lately. Like, more than usual. Anytime, Allie. And I can't believe you're dating his dad. Ugh. I wonder if he thinks of you as, like, his stepmom or something. Stepmom? Goodness, you're thinking much further ahead than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the shoreline calls me such a snail. Enid, you are a snail. You're a snail? But you look like you'll be a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I don't like to think of myself as a stereotype. You know, even better that I slow down her speech because she's like, you know, <laughs> snail. Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you pace yourself. Slow and steady wins the race. If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. Everyone's so rush, rush, go nowadays. Rushing just causes mistakes and leaves you in a mess. Um, yeah. Allie, are you all right? E9, you don't think I'm too much of a kid, do you? Huh, where did this come from? Pinsir kind of makes fun of me for it. You know, playing with toys and jacks, carrying this old stuff toy around and I don't know hearing you say what you just did it's like part of me wants to be grown up already but also is it okay to you know take a little extra time getting there oh Allie of course don't speed up to grow up you don't want to be a grown-up anyways everyone's going at their own speed and even when you do grow up it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart either just look at me Playing games every day. I mean, just look at me, for example. Oop. <laughs> I like plenty of things one might call childish or silly. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? 
Well, for one, I have cake in my house much more often than I should. <laughs> and I kept every gift I get, regardless of how childish one might think they are. Stuffed toys, little figures, I even keep the packages if they're pretty enough. Wow, E9, you gotta stop relating to me. I do that too, E9. If you're a red flag, you're gonna make me seem like a red flag. I still remember one of my favorites being a little gift bag with a smiley cloud on it. Do you get a lot of gifts, E9? Well, I don't want it to sound like I'm bragging or anything. How come I never see them around then? Oh, I have them all stored away for keepsake. Or for safekeeping. It'll be much too messy if I displayed them all. In this way, I know they're safe with my dead bodies. I hope that's not the twist! But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that. Even grown-ups still like all the same fun stuff kids do. We just tend to hide it more, that's all. You know, that really does help me feel a little better, thanks! You're really, uh, Ali? Um, thanks for being my friend or I wish I was more like you. No, I am, you are great the way you are. Don't ever be like, I wanna be like you. Be like, thanks for being my friend. I like that better. So thanks for being my friend. Oh, aren't you just a little sweetie? Thank you for thinking of me so kindly. You got a really big heart, Allie. I'm almost jealous. Oh, shoot. I was even paying attention to the time. The sun's already setting. Should I, uh, just get out of your hair? Normally, I'll say you could stay as long as you like. But yes, might be better for me if you leave now. I got to get up early tomorrow. And I still gotta make a proper dinner and take a shower. No, yeah, it's totally fine. I'll catch you some other time, E9. Thanks for letting me hang out. As I said... Anytime. So she's a snail. Okay, no wonder the options before was cat, snail, or crab. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder if dad made dinner. Oh, pincer! Ugh, what are you doing here? Were, were you waiting here like a loser time? <laughs> we're just waiting outside. It's stalking me. It's how I came out. Ew, no. Don't flatter yourself. As if I'll be waiting out here for you. I'm on my way home, dumb butt. In case you forgot, I live in the street too. Don't call me a dumb butt. Then you stop being such a freaking dumb butt. I, you know what? I hope N9 does become your stepmom. Excuse me? You could learn a thing or two from her. Like how to stop bullying the neighborhood girls like a big, dumb baby. I ain't the freaking baby here. <laughs> he bring out the claws. I, I gotta stop myself from laughing every time he brings that claw. It's like, Arr! like he's trying to threaten us. Like what? You sure look that way to me. Anyway, always whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone would think you're a bigger baby than I am. Well, until they saw that ugly excuse of a mustache. Oh, freak you. Oh. Hey, idiot, let go. You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all the time if you just grew up already. Oh, oh he threw my stuffy. Is it back in E9s? What the heck? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I, I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Really, I, 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 I gotta go. Why he get freaked out so badly? Tch, weirdo. What the heck was that all about? And he acts like I'm the one with the screw loose. Whatever. It's only e Nine's house. e Nine at Nines. Let's go. Dot, dot, dot. Ugh. She must already be in the shower. I don't really want to wait till tomorrow to get it, but... Am I going through the window? It'll be fine. It's E9. She'll know to take good care of it for my for me. I just hope I can sleep all right without it. Oh, so I'm not going through the window. I'm just gonna trust her with the I'm gonna trust her with the stuffy and hope everything's good. Awesome. Hey kiddo. Have fun out there? Ugh, no, Dad. What's with the attitude? Cause I was right, and stupid Pincer was out there, and he just threw Tabby's doll into E9's house. Pincer's really got you twisted lately, huh? Want me to talk with him or his dad or something? Be a big girl! No, a big girl just, not a big girl just yet. No, I'm a big girl! I can take care of Pincer! No, I'll, I'll take care of it myself. Huh, that's my girl. Just be nice about it. Be easy on him, okay? Why should I? He's the one who's always starting things. I know, I know. But he's going through a lot, don't you think? Ain't easy when your dad starts dating someone new, trust me. Ugh. And I'm not defending him. He's still wrong, 
but people usually don't act out for no reason. Most of them don't, anyways. I like that message, though. Like, sometimes people aren't themselves, especially when they're going through something. So you shouldn't allow how they are acting while they're acting out of themselves to define them. Even if it's, like, not good, like, he hold them accountable 100%, but still, like, that's not who they are. All right, I get it. I'll go easy on him, but if he... I will try to go easy on him. Out of girl. <laughs> Seems like a good father. I really wonder, like, if he ever tried to get in contact with Tabby again or something. I had a rough time falling asleep that night. I really wanted Tabby's old doll back, but I was eventually able to relax enough to fall asleep. I reassured myself that Enide would keep him safe and sound. The next morning, the first thing I did was stop by Enide's house to try and get him back. Oh, is she gonna be there? Hey, Enide! Enide! My dolly! You got it! Enide, hello! It's Ali! I wanted to know if you found my plushie last night. Um, hello? There's no way she's still asleep at this hour. She must not be home. Ugh. I guess I gotta go trespass. Ugh, dang it. Huh? Okay, I definitely heard that. What was that? Can I look through the window? Is it over here? Something's outside? Oh, there is a side. I've never went to the side before. Oh, pincer. Pincer, pincer, pincer. What a complicated character, guys. Dot, 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 dot. Aw. Ali's so nice. Hey. Hi. Why you shout earlier? Died to this boss. <laughs> You're playing Calamity Hero? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back, and I am going to give it back. I just wanted to beat it myself first. Mm. Hey, Pincer, why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of Enide? Maybe. Could be. I'm uh, really sorry about what I did yesterday. If it means anything, I don't know what came over me. Oh. I'm happy that he wasn't actually the butt nugget I thought he would be in the very beginning. I'm really happy. It's okay. Please don't do it again. I'm sorry too. Um, I would, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's, un it's understandable. She didn't really do anything bad. So I can't really say sorry. I would like to let him know that it's okay, but don't do it again, you know? I want, I want both of these answers. Like, it's okay. It's like, it's like giving reassurance. Like, you know, I, I understand you're going through something, so it's okay, but you shouldn't do it. You know? So I'm just gonna stick with, please don't do it again. No worries, I won't. That was too far. Oh, I'm happy that he knows. How far in the game are you? Can I see? I'm stuck on the cricket boss fight. Which stage? Did you get up to their form with all the eyes? Ugh, I didn't even know there was even more than one stage. Let me see where your level is at. Oh, you're playing as the girl avatar? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> she, uh, looked cooler than the other protag options. What'd you name her? Allie. Allie? Oh, Claudia! <laughs> Claw, Claudie. I like that name. It sounds really cool. Yeah, you think so? For sure. All right, sick. I like it. I like the relationship. Okay, 360, or not 360, 180. I like Pincer again. I, I feel like he's gonna come and collect later on and be our like bestie, you know? If you want help beating the boss, I know where to get some upgrades. Spill then, because grinding for XP isn't exactly helping. Okay, first, you're going to want to backtrack a bit to the Cave of Shadows. There's a hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. After that, head back into town and talk to the shopkeep. There, you can buy... And just like that, friendship repaired! Love to see it. Oh, Enai should be home. Ooh, dang. I thought we would only get past Kriegi. Didn't think we'll get past three more bosses after. Forgot how fun that game was. Jeez, it's getting dark now, though. Wait, Enide's lights are on. I can go ask for the doll back. Okay. Wait, Enide's lights are on? Isn't she supposed to be on that date with Mr. Chase tonight? No way she's home that early, is she? Um, unless they're both there. It can go either one of two ways. Either they're both there, and I shouldn't interrupt them. Or they're both there, and one of them's dead. So let's find out which one it is. I knock on Enide's door. But to my surprise, her door was unlocked, and it opened as soon as I touched it. I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went and told Dad or something. 
but I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Um, e Enide? Or is it Ednide? I don't think I would ever, oh, I gotta save. I don't think I would ever really understand <laughs> which one it is, Enide or Ednide, but I'm sorry guys if I'm saying wrong the entire time. There's some notes hanging on Enide's fridge. To-do list, buy new guarded shovel, clean basement, call Reginald and see if he like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. Whoa, that's strange. Mr. Trace's first name isn't Reginald. Oh, dang. So either she really is a killer or she hopping from hand to man. Enide's oven, it seems to be preheating. She has to be home, right? Enide's kitchen cabinet. You know better than to poke your nose into these things. I want to poke my nose into these type of things though. Okay, so what's over here? You attempt to open the door, but it's locked. Huh? Is that the basement? The drawer is open, fine, but no trace of your dog can be seen inside. Bes behind this door is a hall closet. It is stacked to the top with all sorts of cleaning supplies. Most still and open are untouched. E9 must have restocked recently. Interesting. Books, books are fine. Also not your favorite way to spend your free time. Yeah, yeah. E9? E9's wardrobe. E9's fashionable outfits hang inside. However, they offer no sign of E9 or your missing plush. Where did he throw it? Threw it in an open window. And I stand beside E9's bed. It's full of junk and jewelry, but amidst the trinkets, could I use this? <gasps> Dorky! E9's bed. When you push your hand down on the mattress, you're amazed at how soft it feels. Is E9 in here? Oh, she's not. Where is she? Is she in the basement? A small bathroom vanity. Your plush toy could not be found in the cabinets. A bathtub shower combo with a large orange curtain. It smells like shampoo. Enide. 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 <laughs> you unlock the door. Oh, this is surprisingly normal. A basement storage unit. It's heavy and, and the handle is cold. Opening it up, that's... Oh, it's a freezer. Oh, oh no! Okay, 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 it's Enide, it's Enide, and I think that's that's his father. Oh, Pincer's an orphan, I see. Oh no, that's bad. Dot 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 dot. Oh, I just feel bad for Pincer. I feel so bad for Pincer. Oh my gosh. I really hope that's not his father. You wanna go home? <laughs> I wanna go back. There's other things I haven't explored. Nah, it's fine. There's probably nothing else. You grab the knob to open the door and run home, but you hear someone coming up the walkway. I need to hide. I'm guessing I gotta hide here. You rush to hide in the hall closet. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ali? Oh my gosh. Is that death? That's death. Oh my gosh, guys, good thing I saved. Oh my god, I should have saved again, honestly. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting her to find me there, so I guess that you gotta go in a particular spot. Oh my gosh, that freaked me out so badly. <laughs> I was not, I thought I got, I thought that was the, 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 the good spot to be in. Was I supposed to go back downstairs or something? Wait, let me see what else I can say here. A washer dryer pair sits in the basement. Is your hamper full back at home? You don't remember. An empty dresser drawer with a lamp on top. There's a chest here. It's locked. If your plush is in here, you'll need another key to access it. Okay, so let's save again real quick. And then let's check the, the thing. Oh my gosh, though. Oh my gosh. I really hope that's not Pincer's dad. Honestly, guys. Honest of it. So let's see. Where could we go and hide? I need to hide. Maybe I gotta go upstairs in her closet? You dive into the wardrobe, hoping not to knock over any clothes in the process. She gonna find me? Oh my gosh, that is actually so scary. Where am I going? Oh, in the, in the bathroom? Oh, uh, can you get in there? <laughs> is, is it the bathroom? You hop in the shower and pull the curtain closed. Oh, you hear the door open. Someone's in the room with you. It's getting harder to control your breathing, but you have to try. Oh, freak, 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 freak. Oh my gosh. I was almost, almost buckled under the pressure. You hear the sink start running and then it stops. It's quiet again. Do you want to get out the shower now? I freaking don't know. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. 
that should not be scaring me the way that I'm doing. Okay, do you want to get out the shower now? No. You wait a few moments late longer. Okay, there we go. Do you want to get the shower? I think that's the cue. There we go. Let's save so we don't have to do that again. Awesome. You need to get out of this house. Oh gosh, should I be concerned? You need to get out of this house. Stop looking around. Do you want to leave this room now? No? You start to back away from the door when someone's coming to your- Oh my gosh! You're not even in the wardrobe? Oh, please tell me it works this time. Okay, you hear someone enter the room. You struggle to stay still and quiet. Don't move. Hold your breathing. Don't let her know you're here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I almost bu did I buckle under the pressure? Oh no, I didn't. Oh my gosh. This is actually so scary. It's quiet again. Uh, awesome. We're just gonna keep saving. Okay. Okay, are we gonna run outside? We're gonna go downstairs. Dot, dot, dot. I am traumatized. Run. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Nice. We made it out. I thought I was home free. I was thanking my lucky stars before I was even out the door. I should not have done that. Ellie? Ooh. Hi! <laughs> Ellie, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, y yeah, I mean, no, uh, everything is fine. I just, uh, I came in your house because my doll was thrown into your house the other day. And, and then I knocked your door, it was open. Oh, ha, silly me. I must have left it open when I came back home today. As for your little dolly, though, no worries. I put it away for safekeeping. I'll go get it for you. Was it in that chest from earlier? You and I left the room to get my plushie back to me. Looking back in that moment, I probably should have just left. Actually, maybe not. That might have made it worse. I don't know. She came back and gave me the toy. And after that, I should have just said thank you and left. I guess I was just so nervous. I couldn't help but to keep talking. I still wish I hadn't. Oh, no. There you go. Safe and sound. Th th thanks, Enide. Um, I, I guess it's good you didn't go on that date after all. <laughs> oh, that? I've been waiting for him all night, but he hasn't shown up. Not even a call. Uh oh, sorry to hear that. Am I gonna drop Reginald? Is that what I would say or something? Oh, it's all right. Then the night isn't a total waste. I know you just had some the other day, but I had bought a new cake for Mr. Chance and I to share. Since he's not here, you can get his slice if you like. Really? Uh, awesome, thanks! Does it include a piece of him by chance? Here, you get the cake from the fridge and I'll go get the nice china. Y yeah, sure thing! <laughs> sure thing! I walk up to the fridge and open the door! <gasps> Oh, goodness. I really did swear I'd moved it already. I suppose that's what I get for rushing. Oh my gosh, I turned my head to hear her and said, You, you kill people? <laughs> oh, well, honey, I don't just kill people, I eat them. <laughs> she said it in such a silly way. The kind of tone a kindergarten teacher uses when telling her students a scary story, clawing her sharp nails out in front of me before cracking into another laugh. As if she was pretending to be a spooky witch in a children's play. I mean, can you blame me? Mr. Chance was such a handsome man and so polite with me too. Who wouldn't want to eat him right up? <laughs> Though he was a bit of the jealous type, if he found out he's not the only date to wind up like this, I think he would have been a little upset. I wish I could feel like that sometimes. Jealous? It'll mean I have a connection I really care about. Like you and I. We're close, aren't we? When you told me before, thank you for being my friend. <laughs> that felt so nice. It must feel a lot lighter to love with your heart instead of your stomach. But does it even stay as full? Um, why are you, you telling me all this? Oh, I mean, that's just because. Pinky promise, what? You're not gonna tell anyone. You can promise me that, can't you? Sure, 
Yeah! Pinky promise! Y yeah, yeah, of course. What else was I supposed to do? I would have just said anything to leave. Oh, man. Um, but what happens if I break the promise? Oh my gosh, she is so creepy. I asked her, and she just stared at me. <laughs> and then she started laughing! Oh, the voice acting is so scary. Like, what I just said was really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's giving off, y like, Yandere vibes. Ayano. The last words I remember hearing from her were, Good night, sweet Allie. As she gently shooed me out her front door, and I walked home. Dang, she really let me leave. Hey, Allie Cat, there you are. Acha! <laughs> Don't date the neighbor! Don't do it! It was getting late. I was starting to get worried about you. Y yeah, sorry, Dad. I was just, uh, at Enide's. Yeah, I figured. Hope Enide didn't fill you up on sweets too much while you were there. Dinner's ready. Come sit. I dare say I outdid myself tonight. Oh, he's so proud of himself, too. Are you in on this? Please don't tell me you're in on this. Please don't tell me you're in on this. Oh my gosh. Poor, poor Allie. She's traumatized. She's so traumatized. Oh my gosh. I didn't get any sleep that night. Oof. All I can do was sit up in bed and stare across the street at e Knight's house. As if waiting for something to happen. Like I'll see her walk out the door and start making her way towards my house. That didn't happen, though. Eventually, the lights in her house went off, but I still didn't go to sleep. I just sat up there and kept watch. And I stayed that way until morning. Yeah, that would be pretty traumatizing, not gonna lie, guys. If you're hoping for some gruesome end to this story, like her coming after me or my father or something, you'll be sorely disappointed. I kept my promise and she left me alone. And nothing ever happened to her, either. When Mr. Chase was declared missing, she allegedly told the officer that he never showed up for their date. And I guess she cleaned up really well because I didn't see them bother her again after that. The Chase kids, kids, there's more than one, Pincher and his siblings. The Chase kids ended up being taken in by their aunt down the block. And eventually Mr. Chase case went cold. I hope he's not mad at me for that. I like to think he understood. Dot, dot, dot. I didn't really see e Knight after that either. I didn't want to. When it came to things like babysitting, I told Dad I was too old for that now and could stay home alone. When he would ask me if I had visited her lately, I would sometimes lie and say I did so he wouldn't think anything was weird. I wonder if she ever told him otherwise. I guess I'll never know. Three years later. Dang. <sighs> Oh gosh, is she gonna come back to me? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna confront her? Oh nice, I'm a baseball player. That brings us to today. Oh wow, three years later, we continue. Yunai doesn't live here anymore. Oh, it's not continued. She hasn't for a while. And I'm not really sure where she went. I remember some moving truck in front of her house one day and she left with them and that was it. She didn't live here anymore and no one else ever moved in. Now it's just the old abandoned house on the block. I won't be surprised if neighborhood kids started saying it's haunted. It might as well be. Dot dot dot. I still haven't told anyone. I promise I wouldn't. And there's some part of me that feels like no matter where she is or what she's doing right now, she'll know if I break it. Ellie. Oh! Oh! Claudie! Claudie! Oh, is that Pincer's sister? You were staring pretty intensely at Enide's old place. You're not still mad about the time I threw your... D oh! Oh! That's Pinsir! Cody! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. You're not still mad about uh, the time I threw your dolly in there, right? Come on, babe! <laughs> I apologize for it like a bazillion times now. <laughs> no, we're cool with that now, swear. Uh, okay, good. I was just 
coming to get you because me and the other girls were heading to the arcade. Okay, like babe, like, oh, come on, babe. Like, okay, I, I thought they were dating. I thought they were dating as well. I was about to like, dang. <laughs> and we wanted to invite you, but I see you got all your gear on. So if you're too busy with practice or something, um, yeah, I can come. I could use a good trip to the arcade. Sick, let's go. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened to Eden Eyed. I probably never will. And I think I'm okay with that. I think it's better if I never knew. It's certainly been easier to breathe ever since she left. And despite all the mental scars she left me with, I've been doing okay. I got a pretty all right life. I'm trying not to feel guilty about enjoying it. Dot, dot, dot. When I think about Eden Eyed, I always remember that thing she said. Something about loving with your stomach instead of your heart. I hope that, for the sake of others, at least, she learned some other way to keep them both full. <laughs> Normal ending! Normal ending, guys. Interesting. So there is, I, I think that I looked up on the itch.io page, there is another ending. I actually don't know how I'll go about getting that. I didn't see different routes. What about Ali's sister? That's what I'm concerned about. Like, I feel like uh, her sister should come back into play since they did this whole, like, beginning part, you know? But... Anyways, let me just go ahead, go back through this again and see what other choices I could make and if it changes anything. Can I hide under the bed? Oh, you can! Wait, is that, a, is that just a wrong answer? You hurriedly duck under the bed. You hear someone enter the room. You're in once again. You struggle to stay silent. Don't move, hold your breath. There we go. <laughs> Loki just spammed that one though. It's quiet again. Okay, but is there a difference between... What's this under the... <gasps> Receives a strange key! <gasps> Ooh, I wonder, can I, can I go, can I go to the basement? Or she's not gonna let me? Cause I remember there was a chest. So will they allow me to go to the basement? Da, da, da. Come on, let me leave. Oh, dang it. She's not even gonna allow me to go to the basement. I wanted to invite you, uh, maybe in a bit. There's just some stuff I gotta do around here first. Chores, what? Wait, this is different. When, uh, last time they, well, you guys were here. You guys saw it, but what? Okay, so this time, um, Ali is saying that she has some chores to do. Alrighty, then we're gonna be hanging the whole day. So just text if you wanna join in later. Sounds good. Thanks, crab cakes. <laughs> That's adorable. I'll meet up with you guys later. <laughs> Crab cakes. What? What do we have to do? Dot, dot, dot. Whoa. Oh, wait, we're going into the house. <gasps> the key. The key. The door wasn't even unlocked. Oh, I thought the door. <laughs> I thought the key was for the front door. What about for the chest? Are we going to see in the chest? Is it still going to be there? The last time I stepped foot in this house was that night. Sometimes... After so many years, I find myself wondering if it even really happened. Maybe I just had some crazy bad dream, or maybe that's just what I like to tell myself, dot, dot, dot. But I didn't think that. After so long and so much dust, this place still smells like her. Interesting. I like how, like, desaturated this place became, too. I mean, I guess it's like a lot of dust, but still. Most of the furniture has been removed during Enide's move, but mysteriously, this unit remains for some reason. There's nothing left inside, though. Nothing but dust anyways. Before I go in the basement, let me look around. The bookcase and all his books have been left here. You guessed to at night, books were only decoration. True. The closet has been emptied of all his content. You've never seen one so empty. Uninteresting. Shockingly, Enide's old fridge still has some notes of hers left on it. You're a bit disturbed to see that your birthday is listed here. Underneath your birthday is the word cake? Oh my gosh, that is creepy. You assume that maybe she was planning to deliver you one. Maybe even invite you over on your birthday. But in your past birthday, since then, you were never invited over or received a cake from her. You wonder what year this was for. Ugh. Creepy. The cabinets are completely empty. The water doesn't run anymore. For some reason, that makes you feel relieved, like she's not here. Oh, her bed's gone. If memory serves, this dresser used to contain a lot of jewelry. All of it is now gone. The bookcase and all its books have been left here. <laughs> she literally just left all of it for decoration. Oh, she took her plant, though. Your reflection is obscured by dust and grime on the mirror. Maybe it's better that way. 
it's probably best to leave the shower be. Moisture in the air has probably created mold behind the curtain. Ugh, yeah, that would be bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the door and see what we can find in here. If we say anything about this, nothing is worth opening this unit again. You don't even want to risk it. You tell yourself there's nothing inside and you hope that is true. Hopefully. An empty dresser drawer with a lamp on top. Some things never change. Over here. You're surprised the washer dryer combo is still here. Maybe they were too outdated by the time she left. And let's finally, finally, let's check in the chest. Dot, dot, dot. That last night I was here, I found a key hidden under E9's bed. I was never sure what it was for, but I always kept it on me. I'm sure it must be for this. You put the key inside the lock, the chest opens, dot, dot, dot. You kneel down and begin to shuffle through the contents. A note at the very top of everything inside reads, gifts from my past lovers. That's where she keeps all her gifts, gotcha. It puts a bit of a knot in your stomach as you begin to dig through them. The first thing you pull out is a teddy bear. Its fur is red and it's holding a velvet red heart. The pink ribbon around his neck is dotted with hearts as well. Dot, dot, dot. The next gift you pull out isn't a gift at all. It's gift bag, one with a smiley clown on it. There's nothing inside it anymore. Well, there is an envelope, but that's empty too. You assume this whole gift was for a birthday, but you have no way of knowing. Dot, dot, dot. This gift also really isn't a gift. It's a letter. Dear Enide, I hope you don't find it too cheesy that I'm writing this in a letter. I'm a bit old school sometimes. Is this my father? Please don't tell me it's my father. But I'm also dumping this in your mailbox because I think it's a bit hard to say it to your face. I know we've already been dating for a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know that I like you. I really like you. I always thought that opposites attract was just a myth. But after meeting you, I'm starting to believe it. I don't think I've ever fallen for someone this badly. Every time I see you, it's like there's butterflies in my stomach. But despite the butterflies, I also feel comfortable around you. Like I could tell you anything and you'll listen. And you do listen. And even with all my freaked up baggage, you still ask to take me out again and again. I hope this doesn't have to do with my sister. <laughs> I'm so happy with you and I just really wanted you to know that you're everything. I don't know where I'm going with this, but just consider it a love letter. I love you, Enide. I feel like I keep changing it. And I hope you like the photo too. They came out really nice. I think we look cute. I really hope this is not my sister. Excited to join you for dinner later. Your girlfriend. Ah! <gasps> no, no way. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't see Tabby being one of my neighbor's lovers. I didn't see that. But dang. What are the odds? True ending. Our first date. Dang! Okay, I didn't expect that. I mean, I was thinking, I think I literally remember thinking, like, why? Why are we bringing up this sister when the sister wasn't really like we don't even know what happened to her da 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 No, turns out it was the neighbor all along I never pieced together that she could have been one of her last like romance Oh my that is that uh mind blown is your mind blown or did you guys see it coming? My mind is definitely blown though. Anyways, guys, definitely let me know what you guys thought about this game. I would say I freaking loved it. I like the plot twist that was in here, honestly. Like I did not see that coming, but maybe you guys did. So let me know in the comments if you guys did. But as for now, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.